factoring the sum and difference of cubes. In this video, we'll recognize a binomial expression that is the sum or difference of cubes, use synthetic division to find the factors, write templates to make the factoring easier, and then factor using templates. We're going to learn to factor the sum and difference of cubes. So here's an example, x cubed plus 2 cubed is a sum of cubes, and x cubed minus 2 cubed is a difference of cubes. Since 2 cubed is 8, these would normally come to us as x cubed plus 8 and x cubed minus 8. I've given you a list of the first few numbers cubed so that you can recognize cubic numbers when you see them. Now x plus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus 8, and it's times something else that we don't know yet. But I'm just telling you because I know already, and we're going to find the other part. And x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed minus 8, and the rest is something that we don't know yet. So that's pretty easy to remember. Let's find the rest. If x plus 2 is a factor, and I use synthetic division, I'm going to write minus 2 because I write the opposite. And x cubed plus 8 would be written 1x cubed, 0x squared, 0x's, and 8. I bring down the 1 and multiply by negative 2. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So the remainder is 0, just like I wanted. And I found the factorization x plus 2 is multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now this second quadratic here, the x squared minus 2x plus 4, is not factorable further. So the sum of cubes factors to a binomial times a quadratic. Now if I factor the difference of cubes using synthetic division, I write 2, the opposite of the factor in the binomial, and the difference is 1x cubed, 0x squared, 0x, and negative 8. So I bring down the 1, multiply by 2, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 and 0 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, so I got the remainder 0. That means that x cubed minus 8 factors to x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Again, the quadratic is not factorable further, and so the factorization of x cubed minus 8 is x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Now personally, this is the way I always factor the sum and difference of cubes. I know that the pluses match in the binomial term and the minuses match in the binomial term, and I do the synthetic division to find the second term because I don't like memorizing things. But if you'd rather memorize the template, here's how it goes. 64x cubed plus 125 is a sum of cubes, and I want to factor it using a template. I want to know what's cubed. So 64 is 4 cubed, and x cubed is x cubed. So I'm going to fill in 4x there. That's the thing that's cubed to give me the first term. And the second term, 125, is 5 cubed. So I've rewritten it now as a sum of cubes where I can see what has been cubed. Now here's the template, and you're going to have to memorize this unless you're allowed to use a note card, in which case you can copy it onto your note card. So the next step is to fill in the values for ax and b into this factoring template. So ax is 4x, and I fill that in, and b is 5, and I fill that in in all the places for b. 
Well, the template gives us the factoring, so all that's left is to simplify that second factor, the quadratic. 4x squared is 16x squared minus 5x plus 5 squared is 25. So 64x cubed plus 125 is equal to 4x plus 5 times 16x squared minus 5x plus 25. Let's practice factoring a difference of cubes using the difference of cubes template. 27x cubed minus 512 is a difference of cubes, and the cubic factors are well, 27 is 3 cubed, so I have 3x, and 512 is 8 cubed. So ax is 3x, and b is 8. Now here's the template for the difference, and again, you're going to have to memorize this or write it down somewhere. So I fill in ax is 3x, 3x, and b is 8. 8, 8, 8. And all, all that's left is to simplify the second factor. So the quantity 3x squared is 9x squared plus 8x plus 8 squared, which is 64. And there it is. I factored the difference of cubes. So the sum of cubes factors to a plus for the binomial, and then we've got a squared x squared minus bx plus b squared for the quadratic. You can either remember that the binomial part has a plus and then factor for the second part, or you can memorize the template. And the difference of cubes factors similarly. And here's the template. Now, I want to show you something. The minus matches the minus in the first term, and it's got a plus here for the b. Whereas with the sum of cubes, you have a plus, a plus in the first term, but a minus with the bx term. So that's factoring the sum and difference of cubes.